Captain's Vlog, day five. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. We are in Phoenix, Arizona. We're heading over to the Phoenix Herpetological Zoo. Absolutely gonna be an amazing time. And then later on tonight, we're gonna end up in Vegas for Noah's 21st birthday tomorrow. Woo! And that's what the trip is all about. But we're gonna have a great time with some amazing animals. I think we have about a half an hour to get there, so let's hit the road and go see some cool animals. I was here about five years ago and it was absolutely incredible. I think they had like almost every species of crocodilian, uh, big saltwater crocodile. So I'm not sure how it's changed, but it's gonna be pretty cool. You guys jacked for this or what? Dude, oh, I yeah, can't definitely. wait. I wanna see some Orinocos, man. Yeah, I, they definitely had Orinocos, which are amazing crocodilian. So uh, I have no idea. I know they had like 150 sultata or something like that. Oh, that's cool. So if, uh, if we do that, we gotta like maybe put lettuce all, all over, over me and uh -huh. just let them like bury me like a, uh, yeah. Like buried alive, get a drone shot, the style. You up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's awesome. So it's gonna be a good time. I, I'm really, I was really looking forward to this particular journey. So uh, we're gonna be there soon, and uh, it should be amazing. So I'm here at the Phoenix Herpetological Society Zoo. I'm with Caitlin. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. She's gonna be our guide for the moment, showing us around this amazing, beautiful place. If you're ever in the Phoenix area, definitely reach out to them. I'm gonna put the links in the description and uh, come and pay them uh, some love because it's pretty amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah. What do you say we go take a look? Of course, let's right, go. Let's go, <laughs> all right. So we have our smaller tortoises up here. Um, this is where all of our tours start. We were founded in 2001 uh, because in Arizona there wasn't really anywhere for game and fish to bring any exotic animals that might have been confiscated. So the founders wanted to be able to keep those animals alive and use them for education. So we have our Galapagos and Aldabras over here. Yeah, these are um, not only do we have reptiles but we also have some mammals as well we try to help out in any of the cases of that we can uh, we're not going to take anything big like right. tigers, or lions tigers or anything, and lions. but if it's a possum or a kinkajou or a raccoon right. we'll see what we could do so her name's pip her name is kip she is pip. so pip yep yeah, her name is pip she <laughs> is so cute yes yeah, so she was someone's pet that they had illegally so she was confiscated and brought here oh, but she is so cute. this goes like three feet under so she has a lot of yeah. room to dig so that's what prairie dogs like to do Hi, Liz we have some dog. here in Arizona uh, that are wild and game and fish breeds and releases the black-footed oh. ferrets and prairie dogs are their main diet so <laughs> oh my god that's okay it's all right that my jeans have seen better days I knew I was going to get dirty today, so I wasn't going to wear my, my church whites, you know what I mean? <laughs> Literally, okay, remember I said I would never put another mammal in the reptile besides the sloth? This, this, this is the one animal that I would totally put in. Yeah. This oh. is Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow. Can I pet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He likes to bite nibble like a puppy, but he little nibbles. He likes I know to they see are so they're with. so cheeky. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mr. Chow! Oh my gosh, look at that face! I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I tell you what, guys, uh, this is the cutest little thing in the world. And typically otters are a little bit cheeky, so you have to be careful. You see a little nibble on my little bracelet, but I tell you what, they will uh, they will bite. You know, more zookeepers get bit by otters than any other animal. Uh, so you have to be a little bit careful with this. But Mr. Chow here looks like he is a little nibbler, but that's it, not too bad. So he is beautiful. I definitely, can we convince Lori? <laughs> Come on, Noah, what do you think? Do you think we could do that? Yeah, I think we should get at least a few. They're adorable. Yeah, I agree. A right. lot of the mammals that we do get are nocturnal because zoos don't really want to take those in. Right. Since they're nocturnal. They yeah, they're not going to be out and about. Them. Yeah, exactly. Our well, most dropped off animal is the African sulcata tortoise just because people get them so small and don't realize how the commitment big they that get. they are. Yeah, and you guys have a lot of them. By the way, I have an idea 
of what I think I want to do in this enclosure. Uh, why don't I say we give that a shot? So last time I was here, I had an opportunity to jump in with the tortoises and feed them, and it was like a pack of wolves just attacking. So I've had this kind of thought ever since then, and uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to call this Buried by Tortoises. What do you say we give it a shot? Throw it on top. All right, here we go. Got to throw it all the way on. Come on, guys. Come eating. Come eat. Oh, geez. Oh. Right in the crotch. Right in the crotch. Oh, oh. oh here they come. Oh, here no. Come. Oh, God. Here they come. And the little cherry on top. <laughs> oh, my God. They're coming, guys. They're coming. Come on. More. Oh. Don't bite my poop. Don't bite my poop. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> oh. yeah. They're so heavy. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Hang on. Hey, no, hang on. Can you move that tortoise right there? Can you move this big one? These two big ones, they're killing my feet right now. Please, 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 please. Move them. Just pull them off. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, he bit me. He got me good. Okay. Can you get your foot out? I'm in trouble, guys. Can you get your foot out? <laughs> I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Hurry. I'm passed out. What are you doing? <laughs> this is awesome. Here, this is this is the life, guys. Are you good? I'm, I'm good. Ow! He's just getting real close. He's getting close to the. He's, he's not a carrot. <laughs> So yeah, guys, you know, just another typical day here at the Phoenix Herb Society. Just hanging out, chilling out with my tortoise friends. Oh my God, this dude is out of control. Ow! All right, so here's our venom room. So this is where we keep our venomous snakes. Um, all along this glass area are the exotic snakes, including our king cobras, mambas, spitting cobras. The Phoenix Herb Society has some of the most amazing venomous snakes I've ever seen. I mean, what a collection. This is actually an Indochina spitting cobra, and it's absolutely incredible. And again, it almost looks like a pied, right? Like pied muserranas or mook, uh, like cow reticulated pythons. But this is a naturally occurring mutation right here and you can just see how amazing that is I mean they are incredible and they are variable I mean they'll be more white they'll be more black but again crazy cool lapid snake right there and uh, it's again the, the collection that they have here of just all kinds of lapids rattlesnakes vipers is really truly amazing I mean wow that thing is ridiculous up next we actually have the black mamba it's a, it's a pretty cool elapid, obviously, from Africa. One of the most sketchy snakes that you'll ever handle. So it's really cool to be on this side of the glass, because usually I'm on that side of the glass, and I tell you what, they are ridiculous. And again, they are extremely long, extremely whippy, and just amazing animals. Now, of course, the black mambas aren't black at all. A lot of people think that jet black snakes are black mambas, but the truth is they have this kind of olive green to gray color. The way they got their actual name is the black in their mouth. And they open their mouth, they actually have black inside of it, almost like a coffin-shaped head. They always say that. I don't know why they say that. It's true, but they always say it. Uh, and again, uh, that is one impressive, impressive snake. And trust me, you get this thing out in the wild at about 100 degrees, and they are flying at you at the rate that you can't imagine. I mean, just take a look at that snake right there. Long, lengthy, agile, smart, very, very willing to bite. You know, that's one of the reasons why they are so deadly is the fact that they are very willing to bite and oftentimes when you get bit they'll rapid bite maybe two three four times and, and just a short like when they hit you all of a sudden you look down you've got three or four bite marks in you so the toxicity of that is pretty intense because they definitely pump you in there and again they have cardiotoxin uh, neurotoxin I mean this is, a, this is a snake you do not want to get bit by but nevertheless if you know what you're doing like obviously he does uh, it makes it look really pretty easy but this snake here is one incredible animal after seeing a really cool black mamba in the Indo China cobras uh, to see this animal is going to be really really amazing of course these are fair de lance now fair de lance are no joke these come from central and the northern part of South America one of the most unbelievable animals I mean super quick uh, definitely one of the worst bites when it comes to necrosis that you can imagine and this is a beastie animal I mean 
mean, that's a big ferrule lance right there. Typically, you don't see them this large. This has to be probably the largest one that I've ever seen in my entire life. Absolutely incredible. But again, unfortunately, when these guys do hit you, uh, they have unbelievable amounts of necrosis, which is basically just rotting skin. So this guy, again, is absolutely incredible. And again, that is a beast. That's a monster. Again, you're going to find these in Costa Rica, all that area there. And again, these are ambush hunters. And wow, the size of that head is so impressive. Absolutely incredible. Again, ambush hunters staying in the leaves. You can see if this was leaf litter on the ground right here, you would totally not even see that animal. And that's where most of the bites actually happen. Is something that's just walking through. And, and these guys are just, you know, as you get a little bit too close, wham, they hit you. And then when they do, like I said, pain, necrosis, lots of damage. You do not want to get bit by these guys, but nevertheless, unbelievably gorgeous snakes. And what a thrill to be able to even get this close to one. I really would love to get in there and play with these guys, but I realize from a safety standpoint, we can't do that. But wow, what a treat. You also got a lot of rattlesnakes. I see acocks up here, all kinds of dying yeah. stuff. I mean, wow. Yeah, and again, a lot of these animals were kept illegally as pets, Okay. Uh, but some of them are from other zoos or facilities that either closed or we traded species for. Uh, we do have some that we got from big uh, rescues like the, the Cape Cobras and monocled cobras are really, or the monocled cobras are really yeah, uh, prevalent in the, the exotic pet trade. So. Oh my gosh, you got West African green. <laughs> Those are so beautiful. Got the black mambas. and. Oh my gosh, got rankles. Got, look at this beautiful rankles cobra right here. Wow. Yes, those guys are so funny when oh. they play dead too. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. Yeah, these guys you don't want to get bit by for sure. You don't want to get bit by any of them, but there's a few of them that you really, <laughs> look at how beautiful these are. Oh my gosh. And there's Moo Moo and Betsy. Moo Moo's oh. the darker one. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I mean, no, the Indochina stuff is gorgeous. Another black mamba up and here. Oh my gosh, got the Mexican rattlesnake. Yeah, and some, some of these animals uh, came from the uh, Cape Fear Serpentarium. Oh yeah, I remember. Yep, I remember that. Yep, exactly. So we helped with re, um, moving those animals from the location and help finding those wow. animals home. Look, we got some turtles, some snapping turtles over here. Yeah. Oh, I gotta take a look at this real quick. Oh my gosh, remember guys when I said I wanted to do chuckawallas? This is what I was talking about right here. Take a look at how cool those lizards are. I mean. Wow, that's just so cool. And again, I just think of that cool desert display. You know, I think it could be really dope. Yeah, that, those things are wild awesome. I, I do love Chuck Wallace. I mean, do you want to so take one out? Yeah, could we? So again, guys, remember when I was talking about wanting to get Chuck Wallace? This is what I was actually talking about. I mean, look at how cool these things are. I mean, they are just so, <laughs> they're just such interesting desert animals. And I think a really cool desert display can be really cool. And you can keep these guys communally as well, which makes it really cool. And look at how chill they are. I mean, my gosh, they are so <laughs> awesome. And they can get pretty decent size too. So that is cool as heck. I'm so excited that I got to check these out. That's awesome. Thank you, Caitlin. This of is course. awesome. And you guys use this as an educational room. Yes, we do a lot of education. So not only do we have really popular summer camps, but we do venomous snake training oh, wow. classes and classes for our local animal control. So they know how to handle reptiles when they come across That's them. That's awesome. Yeah, what a great space. You know I mean? Can you imagine doing classes here? I think I, you know, I might have some problems with my AD. HT because because I'd be looking at the venomous snakes like oh wait a second what is that? there's so much Chuck, like Chuck Wallace what are you doing we also have a lot of red eared slider turtles they're our second most dropped off animal so are again. you allowed to have sliders in Arizona yes people okay, so, are yeah, unfortunately so. but yeah. they get dropped a lot in our rivers and lakes oh, okay so yeah because it's kind of a great environment for them to live out here mm -hmm. so yeah so. So they end up here in this beautiful pond, which is at least good that you guys are providing right. that. That's awesome. And we do um, adopt some of them out, but we make sure that people know what they're getting into right. before doing so. We got some cool crocodilians, we'll see. Uh, these guys came from Denmark, even though they're originally native to South America. There's only a few of them in the United States, yeah. actually, and we have the most of any place. Oh my gosh, yeah. I so. mean, you, you hardly ever see black <laughs> caiman. So to see a bunch of black caiman in one exhibit is ridiculous. I mean, this is so cool. And you have a big one, too? Yes, we have a large adult female named Nessie. Oh my so gosh. So all the other black caiman in the U.S. are too old to be a part of their endangered breeding program, but we're hoping these guys will. Oh, that's exciting. We have 
almost every species of crocodilian. We're just missing the true gharials and the mugger's crocodiles, but we will be working with a place in India to get those here with us. So oh, that's, that's awesome. super exciting. <laughs> that is super exciting. All right, so we're gonna head in here and Russ is gonna feed some crocodilians for you guys. I'm gonna open the gate this way. She's gonna be tight on the gate, so what we're gonna have to do is kinda work the area. You might be good here on, on one side yeah. here. Again, seeing some of the most rare crocodiles on the planet, I mean, literally, some of the stuff you would never see. I mean, black caiman, you know, the, the Orinocles, I mean, one of the most critically endangered crocodiles on the planet. It's a, it's a real treat to check this out and to be able to get a chance to see Ross feed them and be this close to them. Absolutely incredible. This guy here is a giant American crocodile. It's absolutely a beast. I mean, this thing is huge, 950 pounds. And then this is our non-venomous snake and lizard barn. So we have quite a few bigger species in here along with all of our lizards. So this is where our normal tours end and we get to interact and hold a lot of these guys. So what do we have here? This is Louie, our Louis? Asian water monitor. He's amazing. And he is my personal favorite reptile we have here. Oh my gosh. He's a big boy, he as you can boy. see, and he's very active and very oh fun. Oh my gosh, he is amazing. Yes, I love him so much. Oh, I can see why. He loves you too. Look yes. at him. He's like, hi. <laughs> I tell you, I love monitors. You guys know that. And uh, I miss Elvis and all my other monitors back home. So it's nice to see him. And he is an absolute sweetheart. He's like, come on, let me scratch you up a little bit. That's the only problem with these guys, yes, right? They've got good nails. nails. Oh my God, what an amazing animal. So cool. So uh, I appreciate you showing me Louie. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I tell you what, this is one big blood python. His name is Kevin Bacon. And uh, I don't know why he's called Kevin Bacon, but nevertheless, that is a big blood python. You don't see very many of them. That's for sure. Actually, Des has a giant blood python too. And I hate to say it, this one may rival it because that is a giant snake. I still think Des is a little bit bigger, but uh, this is definitely the second largest blood python that I've ever seen. And it is an absolute ripper. So you guys may not know this about me, but I have one reptile that I'm a little freaked out by and it happens to be legless lizard so what is this uh, who is this guy this is rotisserie, <laughs> so she's one of our female legless lizards. And is it because they kind of spin? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You can kind of <laughs> see what like, it's doing. Just like that. Yeah, that keep them in hilarious. your hands and they'll just keep rotating and rolling around. I've said that I in the next expansion we're going to add legless lizards, but I don't. there's something freaky about them to me. Yeah, no, I totally They agree. hiss, they bluff strike at you, yeah, and they, just, they try to scare you away and it works. <laughs> yeah, I know, they're weird, but they're just so creepy. But in a way, I think I'm going to fall in love with them. So thank you guys for showing me some cool stuff. I appreciate course, you guys. Yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. Take a look at these. These are actually Galapagos Island tortoises here. And then we have some Aldalba tortoises. We've got a big Aldalba tortoise over here. But I tell you what, just think one day Matilda's gonna get this size. That is incredible. I mean, they are just unbelievable beasties. How you doing, bud? What you doing? You okay? <laughs> I think it doesn't want me here, that's for sure. But wow, that is incredible. Giant, 
giant prehistoric tortoises. A place like this is important because when people do uh, get animals and maybe don't do their research or don't have the ability to keep, there's places like the Phoenix Herb Society that can actually take in animals like that, which is just super important because those animals need care and a lot of times they end up in places like this. But so, And that's why I always preach to you guys, do your research before you get an animal so you don't have to put the burden on places like this because although they're doing a great job, it takes a lot of money, time, energy to actually help these types of animals. So just do your research before you get into them. You can see how many sulcata are here. That's how many bad decisions have been made over the years. So just keep that in mind when you're getting animals. So this place was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Did you have a good it time? It was very awesome. No, yeah, it was super cool to see Especially all the crocodiles. The, and the stuff. otter was your favorite, I bet, right? Actually, the otter was cool, but you know what's my favorite is the crocodiles with like the long extended Oh snouts. yeah, the, the false because, aerials. Because That's like true. those are the most dinosaurish things. You see like, I don't know, it's just so strange. It almost yeah. seems like a disadvantage to have a snout yeah. like that because it's yeah. like you can't get as big of a bite. Exactly. Well, there. ironically enough in the wild, the reason they have that is they mainly eat fish. Okay. Is that crazy or that what? That's weird. That's awesome. So guess what, Noah? What am I, what? You are about uh, nine hours away nine. from your 21st birthday. That's right. That's what do me, baby. What do you say we hit the road and go hit Vegas? What do you Let's say? go hit Vegas. That's I it. don't know. They, they hype Vegas up. Maybe they do or maybe the hype is there for a reason. I don't know. I don't what know. are you expecting? I think Vegas is going to be off the chain, but uh, let's right. go Let's go check it out. Guys. What? We are heading to Vegas. Woo! Birthday. Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it back there? Birthday. It's Noah's birthday. Oh my God, Vegas doesn't know what's coming. Lori's coming in, MJ's coming in, Miguel's coming in, Jay's coming in. Oh my God. Oh yeah, Vegas, here we come. seen other people pass us <laughs> coming from that direction so we're good 50 50 Boston, Boston. made it to Vegas tomorrow is actually Noah's birthday so it's gonna be amazing we're gonna have a great time here in Vegas for a little bit before we head off to Salt Lake City and then Yellowstone and then Rapid City with Reptile Gardens and stuff like it's still a lot of adventure ahead of us I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did can you do me a favor hit this playlist right over here it helps my click-through rate on this side you can actually subscribe to my podcast channel which will be back here in just another 10 or so days this side over here I hope you subscribe to this vlog channel turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.